Dearest compassionate beings of light that walk upon the earth, now is the time. This time you have been waiting for is upon you, and you can feel it. So many of you are off balance, sensitive beyond the usual, aware beyond the normal that something is going on. You are experiencing shifts and upheavals within your beings. Your topsy-turviness is off the charts because you are interpreting within that which is occurring without. So much turbulence. And you light workers are doing your very best to adjust. You are subconsciously, some consciously, trying to bring life back into order when it has been out of order for so long. It is disheveling you because you are seeing through this without even knowing. You are transforming the energies that are so very strong and have ruled for so very long and melting them back into the light love that they once were. And in doing so, you are coming up against much resistance. You did not volunteer for the stroll in the park. You volunteered and were picked for the hurricane of all hurricanes. And you accepted. And the storm is gathering momentum. So indeed, hold on to your heads in the knowing that you are prepared and ready to go. In the knowing that all you have to do is join together in the I am the light, I am the love, I am. Everything else will be shown unto you, and you shall know which journey to embark upon as you get to it. Imagine as if millions and millions upon millions of souls are all linked together by a chain of shackles around each wrist, bonded, bound by slavery, and then visualize a switch being activated, and every shackle at the same time falls open. Freedom, dearest souls. Freedom of your souls, at last. This is what is to come. This is why you came to be the freers of humanity, so that you may walk again in the light, the true light of who you are. Be one voice. I am the light. I am the love. I am. You may feel empty, as if your engines are shutting down. And when this occurs, tap into the never-ending supply by saying, I am the light. I am the love. I am. And instantaneously the floodgates open and the love energy pours into your being. 
There is never a closed for lunch sign on these gates. Do you see? Draw on this energy from within that is coming to you from within. Because you are within this love light energy. You are this love light energy. You walk into a darkened room and switch on a light. Instantly, there is light. Turn yourselves on. We mean it. Turn yourselves on, not off. Throughout all the times, throughout all the messages, the words, the love that we have shared together, there is a continual thread, theme, which you know, that of bringing this planet upon which you reside into a higher, brighter existence. You know too, deep down, that this is why you are here. At times you feel so in tune with this knowing, and at other times, not so. Yet, this does not change the fact that this is indeed what you are here to do. Think about that task. Really, think about it. You are not being asked to pop down to your local store to get some milk. You are being asked to change the vibration of an entire planet and all who sail in her. You are being asked continually, shine your light under the most extreme circumstances. And not only that, you know that an event that is to change everything is to occur. And you hang on, and you hang on, and you hang on. Your light gets so dim sometimes because there are so many elements involved to make you feel that way. It is in your system now. This, I can't be bothered. This, so what, who cares? It has been polluting your systems through a variety, a large variety at that, of concoctions that seep through into the very core of who you are. You are aware of vaccinations, Food tampering, water tampering, air tampering, mind invasion via all your technical gadgets. So much, so very much has been induced to make you feel the way you do. That it is a wonder that you can raise a smile at all, yet alone the vibration of an entire planet. Yet look at you. Take a good look at yourself and commend yourself for all that you do to get through this that knocks you about. Throughout all of this, and much more, you are breaking free, breaking through. Each one of you has found within a mechanism to smash through the walls of darkness and enslavement and know that you are on the path to freedom and a new beginning. Not only do you know this, you know that you are going to be able to lead the way for so many that are spinning around in circles, not knowing what to do and where to go. 
when you feel this despair. Repeat it. I am the love. I am the light. I am. Keep repeating it and keep feeling it until you reach the point of feeling that light literally radiate out from within you. Each time you do this, you are not only strengthening and reiterating that which you are, you are breaking down another space of darkness and replacing it with light. Each time you do this, you are bringing that which needs, has to be exposed further up into the light so it can be seen by all. And we mean all. There shall not be a stone left unturned. There shall not be one soul that can run and hide from that which they have served upon another. Served? Yes, Blossom, served. In the context of giving out to another. We ask that as you come across every single item of distaste at its best and horror at its worst, you remain feeling and repeating, I am the love, I am the light, I am. Each and every time you hear anything that comes from a darker place, Change its energy by saying this. Change your energy by saying this. Let us start a revolution, not of the outward rebellious nature, yet coming from the inner loving nature of the knowing of this that you are. before of when doing so recognize the connection of all others that are saying it at the same time somewhere in your world and even when another may be engaged in other duties the energy from when they last said felt it is still there to be connected with and built upon you are building a ladder of great proportion a ladder that each one can climb to rise up to your new home. You are the ones now who are solidifying and strengthening this ladder for others to climb when they are led to it. I am the love. I am the light. I am. I am the love. I am the light. I am. I am the love, I am the light, I am. For it is who you are. Dearest souls, when these dark days are through, when you reside in the ways of light and love, and only light and love, with nothing around you to try and change that feeling. You will feel such gratitude for this light that you are. You will feel such pride in your being for knowing that you are the ones who were chosen to be here at this time to make this change. You, out of so many souls who were considered worthy and strong enough to be here during these topsy-turvy encounters, 
because it is known that you were the ones who could make it happen. Yes, there are times when you feel like giving up, giving in. Do not beat yourselves up for these thoughts, yet recognize them as sabotage from outer influences. Are you that weak that you let these influences influence you? No, indeed, you are not weak. These influences are trying to convince you that this is the case. Recognize this little game and turn it around. Laugh in the face of adversity, as it is said. Yet we mean this sincerely. Laugh at these thoughts instead of letting them encumber you. What better weapon of attack than laughter? For not only is it conquering the darkness, it is spreading joy at the same time. You of such great light do not need weaponry and chemicals and devious ways to know yourselves to be all-powerful. You of such great light simply need to know that you are of such great light. You of such great light do not need tricks and lies to get what you want. You need you, the knowing of who you truly are, to change thought form into matter. You of such great light are the pioneers as you join together as one in one enormous light field. Shine it, shine it, shine it. We told you a while back, the war is over. The light has won. In this knowing, continue to radiate light out to your planet and upon all within her. There is much debris to surface that will make it seem that the battle is far from over. It is done, dearest ones. All one must do now, need do now is know this and shine your light for all to be guided by. Gently, so very gently, let the lost find you. And so soothingly, be an example of the way showers that you are. Know that an untold number of light souls walk alongside you. Feel their love encouraging you and filling you with strength and purpose. You, dearest souls, are now ready. And so it is. No one is ever alone.